Hi there Pisces, how are you guys? Spiritual Barbie here, welcome back to the channel. You guys, I'm here to do your weekly Love and Romance Twin Flame um, reading, or uh, rather, twin, for Twin Flame Connections. So you guys, um, please remember to give this video a like, give this reading a like, especially if it resonates with you. Comment down below, share your situation, share what's going on, share, you know, what's in your heart and stuff like that. Um, and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. You guys, um, I love you guys all so much. Thank you guys all so much for all your support. Um, you guys have been amazing to me, you know, for the past few weeks especially. I just want to say I really appreciate you guys. I love you guys so much. And um, sending you guys the same love that you guys send me. I'm sending it right back to you guys tenfold. Because it really, it, you know, it really gets me going, okay? So Pisces, I am going to have a look now at your Twin Flame connection for this week. Remember, that if you're single and you're like, I don't know my Twin Flame. You've stumbled upon this channel because you're about to meet your Twin Flame, honey. And that's a guarantee. That's a promise. Um, so feel free to follow your journey here or just follow your journey in life but just enjoy your journey okay um and you guys who already know your twin flames no matter where you are with your twin flame these readings will resonate with you so thank you guys all for being here let's get into it okay so pisces um let's get into it let's have a look what's going on with your person now i'm feeling guided to grab a different deck it's not too far away but just give me a second I wonder, I wonder. Okay, you guys. So how are you going to be feeling for them this week? What's going on with you guys this week? You guys are doing a lot of work to be with this person. I just see you guys um, putting in a great deal of effort, working very hard, okay? Being consistent. Um, juggling okay you guys are working like spending a lot of time with like if you work on a craft if you have a job or something like that you guys are working on your job a lot and being very consistent you guys are definitely doing the work that it takes to be together like in the sense that you're um, available you know you're doing the physical work for this connection and you guys are showing up and 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 being there for them you know and in in everyday life ways okay now this per and that's how you're going to be feeling for them this week is like doing stuff with them, doing a lot of work together around the house on, you know, financial things, career things. But you guys are falling in love as you're doing this. It's just a strong focus on the physical reality. Now this person is very focused on planning. Here, listen up, you guys. This person is very focused on planning. Sorry if the camera's crooked or doing something weird. Sometimes it does that, okay? So um, this person here, they're in the middle of planning, okay? They're in the middle of um, investing. They have an investment that they have put forth in something and they're waiting to see how this is gonna pan out, okay? So you guys are in, an, in a crown energy. You guys are receiving a lot of honor and respect, especially at work. This person is honoring you and respecting you. But even at work, you're receiving a lot of honor and respect at your job and stuff like that, okay? So, it's like this person is kind of frustrated. I feel like the world around them is frustrating them. Their circumstances are not exactly where they want them to be. They're kind of worried. This person is feeling like you need to defend yourself and they need to defend themselves. They're in this space where they need to defend this connection. They feel like they might need to defend themselves to you. But I feel like this person, mainly, they just feel like they need to defend themselves. And they need to defend you. Like, they need to protect you. So this person is kind of frustrated because they're trying to do something to protect you. And it's taking a long time. You know, they're dealing with delays. People telling them that it won't happen. A wish will be granted when it comes to whatever this is. Um, but they're kind of like feeling dealing with somebody who's telling them that it can't work. You know, someone is trying to tell them it's not going to work out. Or a situation is kind of seeming delayed because they're around somebody someone in the situation is trying to cause de, you know delays 
disruption. So this person is kind of frustrated with this connection, but they're also um, seeing some things pan out, okay? So they're frustrated. This person has to break out of dealing with certain folks and out of a bad habit, and that's why they keep on dealing with the same frustration. And this person is also like working on being more honest, okay? And, and also working with somebody of the law, a legal figure. This person is dealing with something, okay? Very heavy. Protective, protection. They're trying to protect this connection from someone who's trying to cause disarray in this connection. So while you are, you know, spending day, day in and day out with this person, walking around with this person, working with this person, working, thinking about this person, thinking about your future in mind, this person is working on something that is to protect you two from people who are trying to ruin what you guys work hard for. Like they're trying to, um, to warp down the efforts that you guys have put forth. They're trying to cause delays. They're trying to bring about um, frustrations. These are situations that this person has invested into or situations that are trying to invest into this person that they don't want to invest into. And it's trying to, t it's taking their time and energy and effort away from being with you. Okay, like this person, they're frustrated, but when it comes to this connection, they're invested. They're just dealing with frustrations around coming towards you, being invested in you, whatever. Because I feel like it's much more complicated than just that. But it's not about you. And it's like, that's annoying because it's taking them away from being with you. But it's like, there's someone around them that's just trying to keep them away from being with you. This person is, is like frustrated, okay? They're shutting you out. They're arguing with you. They're putting in a lot of, they have a lot of anger. You know, they have a lot of anger for you and they have a lot of anger for others, but they have a lot of anger, okay? And this person is angry about a message, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius person, a, a police officer even, an, somebody of the law, a, a message that they've received from somebody, a message that even you receive from somebody of the law that's kind of devastating, harsh. This person is angry about it. They're angry about a, a water sign man, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio man. Okay, a musician, an artist even. And they're angry about a water sign woman, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio woman is making this person very angry. Okay. Mm. Now this person is angry about these people because this is the healing that they need. These pe this person being angry at this Gemini, this Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio person, and this Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio woman and man, both genders. It could be multiple different people, but it feels like it's one pe person in particular. I mean, let's not get so specific. This person being angry about these people is healing them. And it's healing them because this person, they just th these people are taking them out of being comfortable and secure in themselves. Okay? So this person has been wishing to be secure, to be independent, free of these folks, but they won't let this person go. This, these people, this person's also wishing to live on their own, move out, get independence from whoever these people are, but they keep on holding on. Your person is dealing with a Gemini Libra Aquarius person, a, um, but it feels like a Gemini strongly, a Pisces Cancer Scorpio man and woman, um, sun, moon, or rising that will not let this person go, that's causing delays, frustration, that has hurt this person, but it feels like they're actively currently right now hurting this person. And this person is angry about it because this is the right thing for them to do. This person is walking away from these folks, okay, right now. But this person is like dealing with anger that they've had towards you because these people have come in and split you guys up and they've separated this person from seeing how committed you truly are to them. Oof, they're dealing with a lot, of, but they're angry at you. They're angry at you. They're angry at you because they're starting to work on this connection and the anger that they had made them stop working on this connection. So they have to move through the anger that they've had towards you in order to be with you, okay? Mm. This person is in such an icky situation. It's like whoever they were believing over you, Pisces, is trash. And it, it's being shown that this person that they were believing over you is trash. They're just realizing it, okay? And it's for the sake, it's for this connection to heal. But once again, it's like they have all this anger towards you. And it's because this person actually has a lot of sexual passion for you. They just need to go towards you. But they've let themselves be stuck in lack. They've let themselves um, listen to lies and BS rather than go towards you. So for you guys, you guys are stepping into your power when it comes to being with this person, taking back your power, okay? Um, seeing your hand, but mainly taking back your power, okay? You guys gave your power away. 
and you gave your power away to a situation that you just needed to surrender to but you gave your power away to to it too much okay i also feel like you guys are understanding that you just had to see things from a different perspective and that you just had to surrender control to a situation and just face your fears i feel like you guys had to were too fearful to embrace your fears in the past and it caused separation you guys also you guys dealt with separation okay definitely with this person in this situation yes you dealt with um abandonment you dealt with a bad mother figure if you never met this person you just had a lot of mommy wounds okay and that's why you couldn't see this person maybe you were around this person and you never met them or your mommy wounds was making it so it was delaying you guys meeting each other okay but you guys are taking back your power to um see the world from a larger perspective to believe in your own truth about this connection and to safeguard this connection to be firm stand in your own authority and not care and keep going no matter what okay no matter what it's not your fault so the reason why you guys are stepping into your power is because you guys do not want to let this person go something is happening this week that's going to secure you with this person it's going to show you that your spot with this person has never has not been filled okay it's going to show you that you do not need to let go of this person okay and the reason why is because there's a fire sign woman here okay she's tr she's going out of your life you just need to be positive and optimistic and charismatic you guys are very attractive this person is very attracted to you and they have not filled your spot with anybody okay in any way shape or form and you guys um were trapped in fear around um like enjoying being in bliss with this person um just getting settled it's like you guys don't really plan for the future with this person and you did it really because you there were so many people in the middle of you being with this person Ugh. these are all these extra these are all these people that hang around by the door you know, they hang around by the door like they're not 300 pounds. Like, you can't hear every step that they're making. You know, you're so heavy. We can hear every step you're making. You're not a dancer. You don't exercise. You don't have dancing feet. Okay? But these are the people who, they're just haters. They're obsessed. And then they get a diagnosis. They just hurry up and die. They're so annoying. They're, these are the people that are on looking in your connection and making it so you feel like you can't fully open up. And that was what you were trapped. You were trapped in that. Okay? And you might have noticed how this person was trapped in it, but you were trapped in it. You guys are taking back your power. You're fire. Nobody can tell you. It's like people see you kind of like lighting a spark in your life and then they try to put out your spark. But it's like, no, that's my spark. You're just putting out your own spark, stupid motherfucker. That you guys were dealing with angry. This person is angry, okay? They're frustrated. They're frustrated because they want to come towards you and because they want to love you. They want to give you love because that's what they want to do. But they're frustrated because they're working on things and because there's karmix, okay? <laughs> they're frustrated because there's karmix, okay? That's coming around, splitting you guys up, okay? So they're not able to give you passion this week, but they're cutting ties with folks that have blocked them from giving you passion. They're cutting ties with a Gemini that's blocked them. A Pisces Cancer Scorpio very, very, very strongly is here. It could be three different Pisces Cancer Scorpios at this point that block them from being with you, okay? They want to reach out to you. They want to, you know, give you the love you deserve. They want to share emotional intimacy with you. They want to, you know, romance you, um, but they're not, they're just not able to because they need to heal, okay? And um, they want to do this because this is what they've always, this is their ultimate dream. Oh my God, this is all they've ever wanted is to be with you. Emperor and the Empress here, okay? Very strong twin flame connection, okay? And this person, they just can't, okay? person this energy it's like they're only dealing with it because there is some weird shit that they're dealing with and buying into inside of themselves that they're needing to release and that's why they keep on connecting with this energy and connecting with these folks and that's just like they just need to trust and have faith and cut out these folks that's it they're in the middle of cutting out certain people that block it from being from that block them from being able to talk to you okay and this is strange but it's in their own way so what's going on this week? This person is celebrating the two of you guys being together. They're also having a reunion with you, 
okay, in a passionate sense. So a reunion of creativity, a reunion of doing things together, having fun events. They are also have a, a reunion with you because something, someone is coming and getting cut out of their life. You guys, I'm just scratching my thigh just in case you could see that. But someone is getting cut out of their life. Something is coming crumbling down in their life and this person is celebrating it and this is bringing about a reunion. This person is also um, celebrating um, you because and celebrating this connection because they're getting recognition from, from being with you and they're celebrating the recognition that they're getting. They're celebrating the fact that, um, you know, it's like um, the, you guys get a lot of attention. You guys are a very pretty couple, okay? And this makes them happy. This person just feels like everything is working out. They're in a great space when it comes to this connection. They got some good news. Everything is going in their favor. Oh my gosh, justice is going in their favor. Because they had a new beginning in passion. This person just has embraced a new spark in life. They're just optimistic about life. And so they're having a reunion with you, okay? And they're celebrating it. This is unexpected. This reunion will be very unexpected this week. So this person sent you a message of love. They had a lot of love for you. They sent you a message of love about how much they loved you, okay? By answering a wish of yours, by healing, by getting grounded, by being consistent and getting to work, being there for you always, and also by um, um, moving on from the past. So if you guys haven't spoken to this person, this person, like, they had a new beginning in love where they realized that you guys are meant to be together and they're, they moved on from toxicity, okay? And this person got to work. I feel like this person, they might not have been working as hard, since you left or since they felt like they couldn't have you or they wouldn't ha they would never meet you even and they just started working again they just started believing in themselves again okay and feeling connected to their inner child again so this person reconnected to their inner child they had a new beginning in love it's because they cut out somebody who was toxic some toxic karmic that you know because this was always meant to happen because it brought them a victory to cut this person out of their life yes Oof. they cut this person out of their life because it was just that was it was like but that was the timing for it so I feel like it was just like divine timing this was divine timing okay this was out of their hands sorry the camera does, is not focusing right now this person was trapped in fear when it came to you and they were feeling they were devastated they felt defeated this person is bringing you a reunion I know you can't believe it they don't believe it either but it's going to happen this week so this person here, they were trapped in fear because you guys had a tough ending. They felt betrayed by you. They were also trapped in fear because that's who they were. There's also another man here that they were letting be more grounded than them that was trapping them in fear too. Could have been a man with money. Could have been an institution. A man who owns an institution was trapping this person in fear. And also this person was trapped in fear because somebody died, okay? Or they were trapped in fear around somebody dying, okay? And it's because this person, they needed to let go of these folks. This person was being trapped and belittled and bullied and put down by people who just did it, who were jealous of them, okay? Who were just jealous of them, okay? And these folks, you know, they might have still been holding on to them in some way, shape, or form, their ideologies, the emotions that they had that connected them with these folks, but they needed to go out of this person's life um, so this person could go towards their wish fulfillment, come out of, you know, being devastated, and also um, they needed to also heal um their courage get their courage for themselves i know i can't believe it but this person is having a reunion with you and i feel like that's why this person's energy is so frustrated it's like they kind of are they delay this okay but this this reunion is happening because it's because something has happened justice they've come out of a karmic cycle this person is safeguarding their happiness and their sexual prowess okay and this person wants to get married to you this person is having a reunion with you because they want to get married to you and they want to bring you peace of mind about the fact that they are going to marry you, okay? That they're going to be with you forever. I know you can't believe it, but this is happening. You know what I'm saying? This is amazing. So this person, they're extremely worried right now. They're overthinking it. They're overthinking what this could do. They're also overthinking the sacrifice that they're making. They feel like they're making a sacrifice to you in reality. This is just meant to happen. <laughs> They're also overthinking their worth. They don't know their worth. They're worrying about whether or not, you know, you, you will think that they're good enough. You will be good enough for them. Da, 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 da. This person is like, you know, they're worried. And this person is also worried about their health. They're worried about their relationship. This is unnecessary fears, though. 
they're also worried that whether or not you'll accept them, whether or not they'll be good enough for you, whether or not you'll be good enough for them. Um, they're just overthinking this reunion, and it's because you you mean everything to them. That's the only reason why they're over there worrying, and it's the worries that are keeping you guys apart. That's it, and it's because you're a queen, you're a goddess, okay? You're their everything, because it just works with you. You keep them going. You make this person want to keep on going, especially if this person is an earth sign, okay? This person's also worried about a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn that's trying to involve themselves in this connection. <laughs> That this person, they don't care about this person. You just need to know they don't care about them, okay? Now, um, this person here, they are, they are worried because there's a lot of jealous people around them. They're dealing with folks who are jealous of them, that are keeping their secret intentions hidden. These people don't want them to have you, and so they, they knock this person down as much as they can. And so this person, they get worried, they get anxious, they get paranoid, they get insecure, you know? But this week, you guys are going to have a reunion, okay? A very emotional reunion with your person. Everything is going to go perfectly. It's the right thing to do. It's only fair that this happens. It's only justice. Just going to grab these up. Ooh, you deserve it. They're going to be like, oh, snap. Not in a bad way. They need to protect you. This person needs to protect themselves. They, but they need to protect you. And protecting themselves, they're protecting you. This is so strange. This person is very anxious. They're rushing against time. I feel like whatever they're dealing with, whatever situation that they're involved in, it eats their time, and then it doesn't give them enough time for themselves. Like, this is so strange. They might be dealing with something. This was like a heavy work situation. Schooling, even. That's devastatingly, frighteningly draining and toxic. And... You know, it just is like too much for them to handle. They just put too much on your person's plate. Okay? And they just expect your person to, um, to like perform in a certain way. You know what I mean? They just expect your person to, um, always be there. And it's like your person can't even spend time with you. So I'm going to put these cards away in a tiny bit. I'm actually going to do that now. I know this person they want to come towards you they want to have a reunion with you oh my gosh december this person has wanted to reunite with you since december okay and if it doesn't happen anytime soon it's because in december you guys are definitely going to reunite with this person okay and then also in june you guys are also going to reunite with this person in june something special is going to happen in june perhaps you guys perhaps this person wants to get married in december Oof. and you guys are going to reconnect in june get engaged in june you know this person is very serious about you there's just all these stupid karmics that are in the way but they're going to be pushing against them this person is angry about this connection though they're very angry about it they have a deep love for you okay and there's a major challenge that they're dealing with okay so what's going on with them this week in your twin flame connection they're just fighting their love for you that's it they're just fighting it and every time they give their attention away to these people, it's like they're just fighting. And this is how these people get the power back in this connection. But they don't have any power. It's devastating. But this person, they just have been beaten down by folks that are getting beaten down. And it's just like they keep on... See how I'm going around the circle? That's what they keep on doing to your person. And it's devastating. It's so hard for this person to deal with this. So sorry to you and your person about this situation. I don't know what sorry is going to do about it. But sorry should make you know that... Most people don't think that this is right, okay? This is not the rest of the world. This is just a small part of the world that you guys were trapped in. Because these people were trying to use your good... You guys are special people, and they're trying to use your good energy and not give you nothing in return. It's disgusting. So this person here... And I'm so sorry, Pisces. I'm not trying to trigger you guys. It's so sad. Um, so what's going on now, right now? Oh, this person, they just want to be with you, okay? They love you. This connection is a... You're going to have a guaranteed success this week. Did you hear me? Guaranteed success. They're always trying to take your victory and stuff. I'm tired of it. You're going to have peace and harmony in your connection. God bless you. God bless you guys. You don't deserve that. You guys are going to have peace and, and harmony in your love connection. Uh, there's a guaranteed success and a guaranteed good effect. Guaranteed. 
okay? Like, I guaranteed it in the beginning. We're, I, you, we're about to pull up with the men's warehouse, okay? You're, you, better, you better believe we're going back to the men's warehouse. This person is ready to be with you. Oh my God, you're their soulmates. Oh my goodness. They're going through a profound event. This connection will uh, go through a profound event, a profound synchronistic experience that is going to let you guys shed your burdens and drop the burden. You guys are gonna drop the burden. You guys are gonna completely drop the burden in this connection. Oh my God. This person is gonna reunite with you, bring you some happiness, some sexual passion, and some celebration, some joy, okay? This person is getting ready to bring about a major event in this connection, okay? And they're gonna bring you some happiness and some joy. This person is gonna be celebrating with you and dancing with you, having a lot of sexual desire and passion for you and with you, okay? And protecting the passion, like letting you know that there's nobody else that this person wants to be with, you know? There's nobody else that this person wants to be, I'm hearing, inside of. Okay? They don't want nobody else. And they're going to bring forth this truth to you. They're also going to realize something major within themselves. There is a profound spiritual experience getting ready to take place in your connection that is exceptionally deep. And it comes through, this experience is going to happen through this person and you delving deep inside of yourselves. This is going to happen, this is because you guys are going to uncover something deep inside your well. This is a deep wish that you guys have had that is going to be answered. This has been a wish that you made a long time ago. Okay? Settle down. There's a lot of lack of faith and trust. That's you, There's a lot of lack of faith and trust, and that's the burden. You can drop it, and you're going to understand where it comes from. It's going to come from folks that got thwarted down right away. You just didn't notice it. And they got thwarted down because they were trying to steal your lack of... They were trying to steal your faith and trust in life. And then you're still... And that's the burden, honey. That's the burden. They don't exist. Okay? Those people that were doing that to you, they quickly were removed from your life because they were removed from life, period. Okay? So what's going on in your connection this week? What's this person dealing with this week? This person is going to be sending you a message. Okay? About, you know, what's really going on in their life. The truth. They're also sending you a message about an uh, air sign man, a uh, Gemini Libra Aquarius man. Uh, perhaps I'm hearing he's in the hospital. Okay, he could even be a doctor, but he might just be in the hospital. They're they're gonna send you a message about their truth, how they truly feel, what's really going on. This is a very important letter, and this person's also going to give you a decision, a choice. I feel like this person's already chosen a path, and so have you. But this person is gonna give you a choice, okay? And this person is gonna let you know that they have so much passion for you. If there is a woman that this person is dealing with that is um, sexual in nature, this person has left. They never decided to go down this door. They kind of just cracked it open just because they needed air is what I'm hearing. But they never actually went down this door with this person. There was somebody trying to be a sexual energy in your connection that they were never, a, they were never an option. This person always chose the path of truth and purity. And they're going to send you that in a message, okay? And um, this person's also going to get things started in this connection. They're going to get things going, okay? They're going to bring back that firecracker energy. If you guys have been needing positive energy, passion, um, a spark, an, an idea, um, an adventure, um, you know, plans even for an adventure, this person's going to kick it off this week. So you guys could go have some fun. You guys are just around a bunch of narcissistic karmics that don't believe in fun or that they can't have fun anymore but when they were having fun they sucked the fun away from you anyways so this person is healing the past they're so angry about things that have happened pisces they're so angry and they might have been angry at you but hardly they were just angry at everybody else they could never be mad at you so this person is enjoying the present and they're embracing the future that you guys definitely have together you guys definitely have a future together now this person is forgiving people who wronged you they're learning to forgive people who wronged you in them and this person's spiritual path is being illuminated to them. As yours is, but this person's spiritual path is being illuminated to them. And it's about this connection. This person is healing, healing, healing. They needed to heal. They've been healing ever since, okay? Ever since whatever you're thinking about. Mm. There is a profound event that is getting ready to take place in this connection. That is going to show you guys the truth of who someone really is. But the truth of... The truth of this connection and shed a burden. Oh, you guys have been brought in this maze by people who are just trying to separate you guys from each other. And they're being separated from each other. 
Okay. Bye, Pisces.